Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Thank you for joining me. Please remember to uh, like this video if you if you found it interesting. Also subscribe to my channel where there'll be more tutorials on various things, not just Windows or, or things like that, but also on Android and Google and all types of things that you might need to know about. So please do uh, consider subscribing for more of those. Today I wanted to show you a video editor. This is really simple to use. It's not overly feature packed, but certainly if you are new to editing and you want to get into it or you're just starting a YouTube channel, and you want to just ease into it gently, OpenShot I think is a really good way to go. It does have a lot of uh, good and interesting um, features to it. So here is um, the page loaded up, and on the left here you have uh, it's a similar setup to a lot of video editors. On the left here you have uh, at the moment we're in the Effects tab. You can also have a Transitions tab, which is pretty self-explanatory, and you also have Project Files tab. Now this is where you can add in your project features. So if you right click on it you can then import files and I'm just going to import a file that I've uh, got down here in my shared drive in my drive here I'm just going to add in that and also I'm going to add in another file so you can add in multiple files go into this one and I'm going to add something which I've got in here which is called if I can find it put it in here somewhere video that's the one okay so once you've got the elements that you want to add into your folder, or into your, um, your track, I should say, you can then go in and start dragging these onto the timeline. And you've got five tracks here that you can use. One of these tracks you can have for um, other kinds of things, such as text and uh, titles and things like that, but I'll get into that in a moment. What you can do, first of all, is you can drag in the first one that you want. So you just drag it into the, into the, uh, the track there, and you can make it bigger or shorter, however you want it to do. This is the length I want mine to be at, so I'm going to put it there because this is my my intro that I'm just uh, just developing. So that's my intro there. So it say plays and then it will stop. So if you wanted to then have your intro and then have your main video, you could just drag it in afterwards like that, but butt it up to that one, and then you've you basically you've got a basic video there because you've got your intro, and it will then go um, straight cut into your video which you've got there. So this is the basic form of it so if you just want to drag and drop you can drag and drop elements you can drag and drop pictures into here as well and uh, as you can see here you can extend the video length you can extend it outwards and make it shorter and longer so you can do the same with the photos you can drop a photo in make it longer so that it stays on screen for a longer period of time and things like that so you can just do that that's a really simple way of doing it transitions which is the next thing that you can get into is it's, it's a little bit more difficult, not so difficult, it's a little bit different to how you would use other video editing software, but it is quite intuitive. So say, for example, I wanted to pick one here, say I wanted to pick this bar ripple tra this transition. I'll just right-click uh, just uh, right -click it and drag it onto the track. Now I want to do it, because it's a transition, across these two elements. So I'll just put it there like that. I can make it smaller, so I can make it just a small transition. Put it across there like that, so I've got it a bit longer, a bit wider, like that, that's it. Just so it's straddling those two parts of the, uh, those two different elements of my video. And then if I bring the playhead back to before it, and play, you will see that it then transitions, part of the transition, into the new part of my, my video there. So you can see the transition there. Now obviously it's, um, it's not perfect and you would then play around with that and get it to the right level and the right um, the right time that you want that transition to be. And uh, of course you have many other transitions as well. You don't just have to use that one. If I go on the back arrow and take that out. It's going to do that for me. Go back there, back, back, back. There you go. So you've got those, so you can have that transition, but there's lots of others to choose from. You can have circle in, circle out, fade, white from top to bottom. There are loads and loads of transitions in here that you can play play around with that you can then have going into your different transitions, different parts of your video. So let's just say, let's pick, let's pick another one here. Let's go, to, let's do the clock one because that's quite, uh, that's one that a lot of people use. So we'll do that. We'll make it smaller, obviously, because we don't want it to be taking too long to drag across the playhead. So I'm going to get a little bit bigger. Just so it circles across there. And then again so you can play around with how long you want it to be there for. But then you have the clock effect and you can have it doing the transition into the next part of your video. Just like that. 
Now what I do want to tell you also is that the video quality you see here and the, the frame rate that you see here is not final quality. So when you when you um, render it and then get saved as a proper file, it will be completely different. It won't be the same as this. It won't be as laggy as it can sometimes be on here. It's because you're seeing it um, and it's being edited live. So it does make it easier for you to see it and for it to be updated as you're going along. So that it, once it's rendered, it's back up to normal speed and normal quality and it looks a lot better. So when you've got these things and transitions on here, and you've got the effects as well, you can also add, and I say it, it, it got other, the effects that you've got are quite a few here as well. You've got loads of effects in the tabs here. So for example, I'm not entirely sure why you would want to have a pixelated one, but you can just drag a pixelated one onto here. And if it's going to do it for me. Has that done that? No, it hasn't done it yet. If we've got the pixelated, take that out actually, take the, Take the transition off, because I don't want the transition on there. Get rid of that for now. So if you have, for example, you want to have the screen pixelated, you could just drag that into there, and then you'd have a pixelated screen. Which, again, I'm not entirely sure why you would want that on there, but you can have it on there. You can have it so that it's pixelated. Um, if, for example, you want to have a background that's not going to be the same as anyone else's, you can do that as well. If, uh, for example, you wanted to have a different type of... Uh, thing on here. So if you wanted bars at the top and bottom, you could just drag bars and then you put bars at the top and bottom of your video if, that, if that's the look that you're looking for. And uh, there's many other things on here as well that you can have. You can add uh, more brightness and contrast to the video, things like that. So there's loads of different options open to you in terms of effects that you can add to the video. And there are quite a few on here. Now, of course, it's not as extensive as some of the other video editing software, but it is really good. And for a free version, which is um, nothing to be sniffed at, really, it's a free version. It does basic editing. And if you're just as I said before, if you're just starting out on your editing career or your YouTube career, something like this, which is really simple, could help you get started in making videos. And then you could then learn more in more detailed software going on down the line while you're still making videos with this type of software which is much easier to use. Now as I said before you can also add titles so when you go into the title screen you can add all different types of effects effects to your titles as well so you can have you can even have things like this which is the film rating which is really cool um, <laughs> it's just, I saw this the other day it's really cool you can have what kind of thing this is if you're making like fake trailers and stuff like that then you can do things like that or fan made trailers I should say not fake trailers but like fan made trailers and things like that you can also put in Creative Commons licenses and things like that if you if you were using a particular song, although I wouldn't recommend that you do that. You can add other titles and add a subtitle to it and things and things. You can add uh, lots of lines if you're doing like a um, thanking people like such as sponsors or Patreon support that you can put people's names in here to have different lines and have three or four of those running along. Or if you're doing credits at the end of a, of a fan made movie something like that. So there's lots of things that you can add in in terms of titles. And then all you do is you add the lines that you want to do in here and you then change you can change the background at the bottom and things like that. Oh my taskbar just popped up, I'll get rid of that. If you want to do something different, you can have animated titles, which are something that's slightly different. However, um these are more to do with titles at the beginning of your episode. So if you're doing a YouTube channel and you want to create a title but you don't necessarily know how to do it in terms of putting all the elements together, you can just choose from one of these. There's a few here that you can use um, that are similar to Star Wars, for example. Um, and there's one there with a globe on it. So you can basically just create something like this and then uh, need to have, but this is, uh, this is what I was going to show you. If you have, if you do want to use these um, animated titles, you do have to download an additional component, which is the Blender component. It is free. You can get it on that website, blender.org and uh, you need that component if you're going to be doing the animated titles so think about that in advance but that, that is free and i'll add that as a description to the video so you can download that along with um open shot as well if you want to do that so and that's pretty much it i mean it's as i say it's quite a basic um thing on here it's quite basic in terms of uh, functionality and what it gives you but it does give you a lot of different options and as i said before if you're just getting into the editing biz then this could be the thing for you. Another simple fe uh, useful feature that I'll show you um, as well is this little symbol here, which is the camera. And if you take a picture of that, it will take a picture and it will save it to your drive 
of whatever frame you're currently showing at that point. So if you want to make a thumbnail for your video, for example, for your YouTube channel, then you can choose an area of the video that you quite like, take a picture, and then you can use that picture as part of your thumbnail. So that's quite a good feature as well. Uh, and that's basically it. Thank you for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. If there's anything you want me to add, or if there's anything you didn't understand, please let me know in the comments, and I'll try and clarify or make an additional video if there's anything else you want to see. Thank you very much for joining me, as always, and until next time, goodbye.